get God's heart for what He's doing in the nations. The harvest is so ripe. The Lord starts speaking to me about the harvest and healing rooms. We are here to train, equip, and send you to the nations that are waiting. He's stirring us to come and be a part of what He's doing. Here we are, and it's been amazing. God has just moved in every second and every moment of yep. this trip, and it revived us. Yeah. Don't retire, refire. People join us from all over the world. When it was over, I wanted to stay. And the Lord said, no, you don't have to stay. You just need to come back. Become the healing hands of Jesus Christ. And Sharon just laid her hands on her and just started praying. And this woman, she got healed. The lump was gone. You haven't missed it, and you're not too old. Your children are grown and gone. And we've had our career. It gives you the greatest purpose of why you get out of bed in the morning. And I love what God does in and through those that come. The kids run up and they grab you around your legs, say, Papa. They're the ones that are going to remember you when you go on into eternity. Whatever is needed in the situation, God will give it to you. I first of all thought I wouldn't have enough strength and I'd be a burden, but it's just flowed really nicely. One of the most amazing things is what God does through you. It is life changing. If you're older, yeah. the mission yeah. field needs you. Yes, that's right. Search your heart and see what God is saying to you. God wants you. So I encourage you, come and be a part of what God's doing on ground in Cambodia. He's calling you.